Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. This is magic. Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Science is the study of how the natural world works. This is science. Birds are awesome. Birds. Birds are beautiful, amazing, and kind of awesome. There are about 10,000 living species of birds today, and they've been on this planet for millions of years. Birds can be found almost anywhere on Earth. There are big, fast, dangerous birds of prey, hawks, eagles, and there are little, sweet, almost cuddly birds, hey, buddy. like bluebirds and parakeets. Some birds are very, very smart and can learn human words and behavior. Uh -uh. But the coolest and most obvious thing about birds is they can fly, they can soar, they can glide, some can hover. But why can birds fly? Because their body was made for flying. Birds are the only animals that have feathers. Uh. Yep, and feathers are hollow inside, so they are lightweight. They also help keep the bird warm and dry. Feathers are made of keratin, as are our hair and nails. Their bones are honeycomb-like on the inside, so they are very light and very strong. Birds have super strong muscles for their size that help lift them off the ground and push their wings up and down against the air. Because of the shape of their wings, the air pressure above their wings pushing down is less than the pressure under their wings pushing up. So the bird's body rises and moves forward as the wings pivot. Birds live in high places, eat other things that fly, and hunt while flying. Birds have excellent eyesight so they can see better as they fly. Some spend their life in one area, but other birds fly thousands and thousands of miles, sometimes over large bodies of water in a short period of time. This is called migrating. They migrate north in the spring and south in the fall. We really don't know exactly how they know where they're going. Uh. But they do it every year. Birds play many important roles in our environment. Birds help to pollinate. Birds are very important pollinators worldwide. The hummingbird is the number one pollinator of wildflowers in the United States. The hummingbird flies up to a brightly colored plant. It will either hover near the plant or perch on the plant. Then put their long beak into the flower to sip some nectar. Pollen gets on their faces and as they move to different flowers, that pollen can get transferred to other plants. And new seeds can begin to be created. Super helpful, but just an accident. Hummingbirds don't even know they are pollinators. <laughs> Some birds are scavengers. A scavenger helps keep the environment clean. They eat dead plant and animal materials. To a vulture, a dead rotting animal is as yummy as candy. And they don't mind the smell at all. <laughs> birds help to control insect populations naturally. Birds around the world eat 400 to 500 million metric tons of insects per year. Bluebird boxes are often introduced to a vineyard, so the birds will nest there and eat the insects that eat the grapes and the grape vines. This reduces the chemicals, insecticides, that farmers add to the environment to kill the insects. That makes our food supply safer. Birds are effective at removing pests from the ecosystem. They eat caterpillars, grubs, beetles, spiders. It comes naturally to the bird. Insects are a part of their food chain and food web. 
Lots of birds eat seeds, and they act as seed dispensers, spreading the seeds to other places so they can germinate and make new plants. The red-winged blackbird is a great example of a bird that dispenses seeds. When the birds eat seeds, the seeds can pass through their digestive tract unharmed. The seeds are released in their droppings and fall onto the soil. In some cases, germination then occurs, and a new plant can grow where a seed has been dropped. This helps spread diversity that can help keep the environment healthy. How can we help birds since they're so helpful to us? In order to survive and successfully fill their role in the ecosystem, birds need food, water, and shelter. We can make sure we're not destroying their habitat. We can allow some trees, shrubs, and fields to go uncut so birds have a safe place to live and raise their young. They need protective trees and shrubs to build nests and hide from predators like hawks and cats. We can put up birdhouses and see which birds will nest in them. Birds can find their own food in a natural forest or a field. It can be worms, insects, seeds, fruit, nectar, lots of things. And birds will find their own food if it's available. We can put out bird feeders to attract birds to our yards. We can stop using so many pesticides. These chemicals can kill the insects that the birds eat. The chemicals can harm or even kill the birds that have eaten the poison insects. We can keep our natural water supplies, like rivers, lakes, and ponds, clean and free from pollution. We can put bird baths in our yard and keep clean, fresh water in them. If a bird is missing one or more of the habitat needs, food, water, or shelter, the bird cannot survive in that environment and will move to another area that will meet its needs. Hopefully, there's another suitable habitat nearby. Birds we can see in our community and backyard include the American Robin. You can find them in the park, in your schoolyard, or even in your backyard. They like short grassy areas with shrubs and trees. You will find them eating worms in the morning and fruit in the afternoon. If you see one of their nests, it will be in a tree made of grasses and twigs lined with mud. The Eastern Bluebird. Bluebirds live in open fields or more open areas. They eat insects, worms, and fruit that they find here. Bluebirds are cavity nesters. They excavate nesting holes, use cavities resulting from decay, or use holes created by other birds, like woodpeckers, in dead or deteriorating trees. They will also nest in a special box that people can provide. Bluebirds protect their territory from other birds. They don't like close neighbors. Did you know that every state has an official state bird? In Alabama, the official state bird is the yellowhammer, also known as the northern flicker. The yellowhammer lives in a variety of areas. The edge of the woods, open woodlands, and even the burbs. They eat insects, fruits, and seeds. They feed on the ground, and their number one insect of choice is the ant. Uh -uh. It is a cavity nester like the bluebird. You can find out about your state bird on the internet or your library. Oh, one more totally amazing thing. We're now pretty sure the bird's early ancestors were dinosaurs. Weird, right? Uh -uh. So, these incredible beings, they fly, they find mates, they reproduce, they interact with their environment, and they'll even fly thousands of miles to make this happen. Birds are beautiful, amazing, and kind of awesome. There are about 10,000 living species of birds today, and they've been on this planet millions of years. Birds can be found almost anywhere on planet Earth. Let's help make sure that birds remain a vital part of our world by protecting their habitat and looking out for them. Birds totally rock. <laughs>